Thank you, Radio Disney, for playing BTS's music all the time. Thank you, RDMAs, for voting us the fiercest fans, because that's what we are. And thank you, thank you, BTS, for everything you do and always reminding us to love ourselves. Hopefully this inspires BTS and Big Hit to want to bring a muster or a fan meet here, because obviously there are many fans here that will Someone attend. Someone who waits hours outside to see her favorite K-pop group perform, buys the shoes that her favorite K-pop group endorses, yet hides this shoe box full of merchandise in the back of her closet for no one to see, so no one thinks she's crazy. How does a grown K-pop fan show her love for her groups, but not come off as a fangirl? Well, Army set you know, to listen to a Q&A filled with details and inspiration BTS has had on Mark Dominus's life since meeting them. I, you know, I think what I said about fear, I think you have to let go of fear, you know, that, that's, that truly is why I call my business art can't hurt. This is Yachty and Natalie hosts and creators of the First Time with BTS podcast. You're going to talk about masculinity in terms of how it relates to BTS. One of those big things is like skinship and like that kind of thing. And uh, are you guys going to talk about ships is another question. <laughs> Describes it as like a dark hole. You just fall down this like rabbit hole and you after a certain point, like by like the 20th YouTube video, you're like, oh shoot, like I can't, like I, there's no coming out of this. It's been an honor to be able to throw the first BTS Army Con here in LA. I know BTS Galaxy really, really worked hard for this. And we appreciate all the Army that came through, all of the panelists that came through, all the vendors, all the sponsors, everybody that's just come through today. What's really cool is just to be able to see all the different Army that came through. It's just wild that, I mean, I knew they existed, obviously here in LA, working at, you know, different K-pop stores and just going to concerts and stuff like that. But I didn't know that, I just didn't think they would ever come to our event as BTS Galaxy. So it's just really cool to see, and it was really cool to see the whole line that was out here. Wow, well, I'm about to take this espresso shot because it's freaking early in the morning, but I'm pumped, as everyone else should be if you're ARMY and you're here and you're trying to see BTS. So we're going to see them. What time did you guys show up today to get in line? <laughs> Here at 6 a.m. today. First, a final due tonight at 11. I didn't call off at work. I just didn't show up. I, I can get fired. I worked on my essay on my BTS phone. BTS is so working. Don't stop me, da. Sarang yo, BTS. I like that. Korean, that was Korean, guys. Thank you, and I love you, You're BTS. Doing, thank you. We all love BTS, and we all love you. A little emotional. Why has uh, BTS been to you? Why? How have they changed your life? Jin said, even if they changed one life, and just by a small percent made it better, then it all would have been worth it. I think you guys need to know what we all need to hear. There's a chance, you know, we're looking at the upper echelon of the Billboard 200 Albums chart with the debut for Love Yourself Tears. So, I mean, you think about that, a top album in the country, a hit single, I mean, they're there. That's the mainstream of my I life. love all the colors. So is it going to come down to, like, which BT21 character I'm getting? <laughs> or, like, the shade? Others were there to give their children their first experience buying makeup. I like the light lipsticks okay. because of her age. Every time something comes out, I am the person who's just like looking at what y'all have to say, like the theorists have to say, because I could never... Who it was that created this hierarchy and branches of different ways of like making this an actual organization.